All right, welcome to my August 31st live item shop review video. So since this is the last day in August, we obviously have the new crew pack. Check this out. And of course, in addition to the crew pack, we've got all the legacy styles if you've been a subscriber for a few months in a row. So if you want to see a gameplay and review on this skin and all her accessories, just let me know. Here's the Lego version. And then we've got the stuffy sack back bling. We've got the Cuddly Crusher Pickaxe. We've got, what is this? The Machinist Legacy for the Operator. So this is her actual exclusive style. The rest that we get for this one are going to be the copycat ones. Here's her backplane for that. And the pickaxes, which look like the pizza cutters, unfortunately. Then we got, let's see, the Auric version. That's pretty sweet. Nice and gold there. How's their back bling look? Wow, actually that looks really good with gold on it. Heart of Darkness. Pickaxes, okay, that's not bad. We got the Phase Legacy of this one. I think Phase is my least favorite of the Legacy styles. There's the back bling and the pickaxe there. We're at the Rhyme Bound for this particular skin. That's a nice blue. Back bling looks great as well. Pickaxe, what's her pickaxe? Oh yeah. That's pretty sweet. And then we're at the Galaxy for this one. Mr. Ares, Cosmic. Here's his cape. So I think this one looks really good with the Cosmic. Incredible. So there you go. That's all the crew stuff for this month. Again, let me know if you want to see a gameplay review on this skin. So we've got something super rare and awesome in this item shop. First of all, the Scarlet Witch Bundle and the Iron Man Zero Bundles have returned. So Scarlet Witch, amazing. She had her own show with WandaVision. Absolutely incredible character. I love the Scarlet Witch. And her Lego version, eh, not the best there. Wanda's cloak is her back bling. Her pickaxe was actually bad, though. I do not like this pickaxe. I feel like they could have done something so much better. Emote is awesome. The psychic energy manipulation. Love doing this with other characters. Bam! Pretty sweet. And then she's got the awesome through the mirror dimension loading screen with none other than Doctor Strange. Then we got the Iron Man Zero Bundle, which you cannot purchase sold separately. It's the bundle or nothing. So you got Iron Man Zero. He does have a built-in emote, but it's pretty bad. This is all it does right here. Ta-da! That's it. I mean, I guess if you don't have Iron Man, it's cool because you technically have him there. He's inside the suit, but that's all it does, literally. And you can turn it to the 7 style, and you can take the helmet off, so you can pretend to have Iron Man if you really don't. And then you can change the visor faces on there, which is not bad. I mean, a lot of customization. Pretty cool. Here's this Lego version. It looks out of proportion, to say the least. Something doesn't look right about it. Maybe the ginormous helmet there. Back bling is pretty cool. Repulsor pack flows quite nicely there. Bladed gauntlet. Okay, just okay. And the Stark 7 wrap is actually really clean. And the Zero War Frontline's loading screen, equally impressive. Again, though, it's all or nothing for this bundle. Iron Spider Bundle still here, of course. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Ooh, they changed the Shredder Bundle image there. That's kind of weird. A ginormous, low-quality Shredder face for the image up there. That's weird. And then the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Bundle still here. That's all for the Turtles. The instruments, if you want. The music pack. The April O'Neil Bundle. Splinters down here. The Witcher stuff still remains, if you missed out on those two pretty solid skins, although this is the better pack in my opinion. The X-Men stuff came back the other day, Rogue and Gambit. Two great skins, Dark Phoenix came back as well. We got some emotes in there, the Suit Surfer Glider. Avatar stuff came back yesterday, so nothing new here. And then Deadpool and Wolverine still here, as is Carol G, nothing new there. Moving on down, we got the FNCS Chapter 5 Season 2 bundle still here, plus Kyra and Infinity. Is it Kyra or Kira? I don't know. I think I say it different every single time. Champions Road stuff still looks the same. Zadie, Archetype, Bandolier, and Cryptic. Fortnite Flow, nothing has changed with these. I covered those when they first came back. The Red Hot Chili Pepper skin still here, as is all the summer stuff. Let's see, when do these rotate up? 9-1. So this is your last chance for the summer skins. Literally, last chance for summer before it fades away. Then the Banner Brigade stuff came back yesterday as well. If you missed out on any of these, you don't really need all of them. Maybe one female, one male, or just one skin, and that's it. Gear bundle's pretty clean. You got the shield, you got the cape, you got the glider. I like the glider. Pickaxe is just okay. 
We got the banner. I use that one all the time. Banner wave though, not so much. Signature style is where it's at though. Let's take a peek. So Supersonic, one of my favorite 2000 V-Buck item shop skins in the game. It's got everything you want for 2000 V-Buck. This is what they should model every single 2000 V-Buck skin in the item shop after. Check this out. So four different styles for the skin and they all look amazing. Here's the wolf one, my favorite. Then we got Hornet, then we got Falcon. So four styles. It comes with a nice back bling. It's also reactive and the Lego skin is pretty solid as well. So four different styles and a reactive back bling. That at least is worth 2000 V-Bucks. Sometimes they throw a skin in for 2000 V-Bucks that's just terrible. It's way outdated. No styles, no reactivity, no nothing. But this one, in my opinion, is worth it. And we got the Surefire Glider. So this rotates out tomorrow. This is your only chance to get this. One of the rarest gliders in the game, or at least it was. 1,541 days missing. Holy smokes. We might have to go on a little spending spree in this video. If that wasn't cool enough, then we've got the Trench Raider skin. Trench Raider. This leaves tomorrow as well. You've got one day only to get this before it goes back into the vault. Actually, who knows? It could be on a rotation now. But this was the second rarest item shop skin in the game. 1,688 days he's been gone. 1688. Eight. No bright colors, no standing out. He's got the torpedo tank back bling. And of course, he's got a Lego style. Why wouldn't he? So two super rare items right there. The depth charger is rare as well, but this came back not too long ago, 414 days. I mean, that was a long time, but nowhere near as rare as these two items right here. The astronaut skin is back. He's kind of rare as well. He's got the spacesuit style where you can put the helmet up and you can change his color to this nice blue. It's like a tealish blue. His back bling is actually pretty cool too. The lunar sim. Then the star cross glider, not too bad. We got the lavender skin. Her name is Lavendra, I think that's how you say it, but she definitely has the lavender color scheme there. And her back bling is the snapshot pack plus the dreamy bouquet flower related skin and one of my favorite emotes in the entire game old school love this one beautiful emote spins all the way around 500 v bucks for that and we got all the jam tracks still here we got all the gear for festival stuff Ooh, hold on there's a new one the b base okay wow that base had some serious hang time in the air holy cow 200 for that all the cars look still the same and there you go so what an item shop not only is it the brand new crew pack, we've got Scarlet Witch, Iron Man Zero, and two of the rarest items in the game. Wow. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is Tabor Time.